audiences oh. who get together to play their hard guitars and see what new variations on the theme they have come up with and what they're, how they're playing them.
Thank you. Uh, thank you. Wow. <laughs> this is great to have. Thank you for our audience here. Thank you for our audience in the uh, somewhere in the cloud, too. Um, we started with an old favorite and a new favorite. Our old favorite, Vals Petit Déjeuner, um, The Breakfast Waltz, which we recorded many years ago on Celtic Cafe. Still a favorite. And then we went into one of our newest favorites that has kept me awake at night playing chords, F sharp major, B minor, G minor, E, A. Anyway, La Bikina, it's from Mexico. And actually we learned it a really long time ago. Paul got it from Steve Schneider. And then we started playing in Mexico at their Salterio festivals. That's their dulcimer and every Salterio group did it. And uh, we have taken advantage of this time to learn it and start playing it. So yeah. It's called La Bikina. It's the singular of Put bikini. Your mic down. Just <laughs> kidding. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't want to say that. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> I think we're going to do some I, Oh, we're gonna do some continental jigs now. Not all jigs are Irish.
one was um, from the Tw Poitou, am I saying? Po Poitou. Poitou area of France. And uh, we learned it in Belgium from a camp I've taught at a number of times. Um, and the second one was Galician, so a Muniera. Um, we're going to do a Manx lullaby. The Isle of Man is one of the seven Celtic nations. And then we're going to go into an Irish jig, Langstrom's Pony.
so that was that was one of our uh, lockdown medleys. Let's see, you're going to accordion, aren't you? Uh, with Patty Maloney dying yeah. recently, there was a lot in the news about Irish music and its history, and there was a, a lot to talk about the uh, how the Bothy band come on the scene, and everybody was playing Irish music. And then the Bothy band came along and started playing rock and roll. Yep. <laughs> and changed the course of Irish music and got a whole bunch of young people interested in it, otherwise would have never gotten anywhere near. Uh, I was just thinking about that as we were, as we were doing our rock and roll version of a... <laughs> yeah, that wasn't the Chieftain's version. Except, you know, they, they collaborated with everybody, Van Morrison and Sting and... Um, yeah, Patty Maloney was the Chieftains, uh, the founder of the Chieftains. It grew out of Kilt a group called Kiltori Coolin. Uh, the Chieftains started in the 50s, 60s. For many of us, that's how we got into Irish music. Actually, this next tune we're going to play, I learned off an early Chieftains recording. And where I grew up, um, the Chieftains were all I had until I, until I left home, really. I mean, it, their recordings were. They, I heard one of their recordings in middle school and fell in love. It's like I'd gone home and eventually I did get over. Um, but they got me very well set in a good, solid Irish repertoire. So this first one is Lord Mayo. And then we're going to um, play a couple of polkas. Um, maybe not all of you know that Ireland has polkas too, but Ireland did not escape the craze. So down in the south. Thank you. 
we sort of mutually married into a, a different kind of music. I married into Irish music, and Karen married into a bunch of stuff that involves accordions. That's a good way, with a lot of chord changes. <laughs> Hard chord changes. Uh, one of the things I love to do is, I am Belgian by nationality, but uh, I've uh, lived in Italy for a good bit, and uh, I'm still making a living teaching Italian. Uh, and uh, I have a long-standing interest in Italian music, and uh, although mandolin playing, I do play mandolin, that has to do a lot more with American music, but I did get very interested in uh, Italian-American music, and uh, some of it is just fascinating. Um, I've lately been exploring a lot of the Neapolitan music and song and dance, and a lot of it is deceptively simply. It pretended to be folk music, but it was really written by conservatory people who knew what they were doing with chords. Uh, and here's a, a little tarantella that dates from the late 1800s. That's called La Più Bella Tarantella. That's originally written for guitars and two mandolins, but which we've arranged for the, for the two of us. I think it sounds great on a hammered dulcimer. Uh, and also give us a chance to play the lowest and the highest note I have on an accordion. <laughs> uh, A minor. but I did not lose a beat. Amazing. <laughs> um, we have a new Italian piece in our repertoire. I was repertoire. just watching Garrison Keillor old shows, and uh, they, I, they have the habit of, whenever they were done with a sheet of paper, they would throw it there. I think that's a very grand gesture. I think I'm going to keep on doing that here. <laughs> if I, sorry. Uh, go ahead. There was a classical composer that did that, too, the one who composed the Chattering Magpie. Who did the chattering magpie? He was Italian. He would throw his music well, away? Well, he would lie in bed and write a piece of music and just drop it when he was finished with it. At least. Oh, well. 
Okay, Paul will pronounce the name of this next one. Um, Giambattista per Pergolesi was a composer in the early 1700s uh, who only lived to the age of 26, but wrote lots and lots of stuff and really, really good stuff. Like Charlie Christian, he died at age 26 of tuberculosis. Um, and I recently discovered uh, this piece called the Siciliano, uh, Sicilian type of piece. And um, I just love the chord progression of the whole thing. It's, it's pretty amazing. Uh, and I'm amazed that we can play it on our instruments. So sorry about that. Well, sometimes we can. <laughs> Let's try it. Our debut.
This next one on his harp guitar. For those of you who joined the um, live stream late and you're wondering what Paul's playing, it is a harp guitar. He has six extra bass notes. I just had a very significant birthday. Um, usually birthdays don't touch, don't affect me. They never have. But my 64th, 64. Yeah, Will you still meet me? Will you still greet me and all that? Yeah. It gave me pause. <laughs> anyway, uh, there's a, here's a song that also gave me pause. It's called La Nonchalante, and it is by, it's the person who sings it is a man who is uh, close to retirement, working on the uh, canals, on a canal boat in France, and uh, thinking about what am I going to do next? and reminiscing about um, what life was like on the canal boats. Canals have a very long history in France. Um, Louis XIV already decided that they were going to dig a canal that would connect the Atlantic through France with the Mediterranean, the Canal du Midi, and um, that's still usable up to this day. Well, usable, navigable, but it's mostly people who are retired <laughs> who go there on their, on their slow boats if you have to take your time to go to the south of France. That's how you do it. Anyway, it's the, the song is called La Nonchalante, and it's the name of the boat that uh, man spent his entire career on. <laughs> Pas que choix de première jeunesse, la vie a passé sous les ponts, mais le bateau est encore bon, et le temps n'est pas à la paresse. Si je débarque, il ne me restera qu'à me saouler au café du port, sans avoir comme un cœur à bord, dans la cale, le moteur qui bat, la nonchalante, la nonchalante. On va pas se quitter comme ça, moi sans ta coque, toi sans mes bras, la nonchalante, la nonchalante, la nonchalante, on peut pas oublier tout ça, ils disent qu'ils veulent, nous on s'en va, la nonchalante. Depuis la fin des années 30, on en a vu des chargements, de la pluie. Et du mauvais temps, que tu sois mon temps, tout avalante. Le soleil qui dissout la brume, le canal du midi sous la lune, les fins de semaine à conflante. Il y a eu aussi de bons moments, la nonchalante, la nonchalante. On va pas se quitter comme ça, moi sans ta coque, toi sans mes bras, la nonchalante. La nonchalante, la nonchalante On peut pas oublier tout ça Ils disent qu'ils veulent Nous on s'en va La nonchalante Thank you. 
Il y en a qu'on dise qu'on n'a plus l'âge Tous les deux au bout du rouleau Qu'il faut m'envoyer à l'hosto Et t'emmener au déchirage Mais passer la dernière écluse On partira sur la grande bleue On ira aussi loin qu'on peut J'aimerais t'en voir Syracuse La nonchalante, la nonchalante On va pas se quitter comme ça Poisson ta coque, poisson mes bras La nonchalante La nonchalante, la nonchalante On peut pas oublier tout ça Il dit ce qu'il veut, nous on s'en va La nonchalante audience tonight is my at a retirement home on Thursday. And I was a little nervous when we agreed to it, but the weather was absolutely gorgeous. And as I was setting up our sound, I had a little bit of feedback at one moment. I thought, oh, live sound. Okay, it's, it sounds like we're back in action. Are we? Yeah, I don't know if we're talking with it. Okay. Um, well, yes. Zoom would feed back from time to time. Well, Zoom does worse than feeding back. But. Um, <laughs> when we were quarantining, Jan brought this tune called... What, what? Oh, oh, I forgot, right, sorry. The Dutch Music Splendid Must Isolation. Wait. That's right, this was my first, one of my first quarantine projects was to finally learn the real Splendid Isolation. And, well, we just put that together and made it an Irish jig to reel set that we, that we have enjoyed playing lately. So it has Paddy Fahey's reel, which we learned from. Martin Hayes. Martin Hayes, great fiddle player. And, and a jig we can't pronounce. Yeah. But it's played a lot. Sometimes it's called a happy A jig. Some people call it. Except we're doing it in G. I think Liz knows what we're, which one we're talking um, about. And, and then we end with an Ed Reavy tune, Hunter's House.
Now we have the set. So Paul's Belgian, and I play Irish music, and the set actually came about because at the time I was going, first going over to Belgium, my flute maker, I'm not playing any Irish flute tonight, but Patrick Olwell told me there was one flute player in Belgium who played one of his flutes um, named Wynne Poussin. And uh, we would like each other, and we do. <laughs> and we play tunes every time we get together, every, every time I go over. Um, and he composed this first tune called Madeleine's Waltz. And then the second tune is dedicated to my Dutch teacher who is in the audience tonight, Trix van der Vossen. I hope I have that right. Better. Um, <laughs> and it comes from out, okay, I'm, it's hot and I'm a little tired. Let's see. Oude en nieuwe Hollandse. Hollandse. Hollandse burenliedjes en contradanse. <laughs> it's the Dutch, it's the old and new Dutch farmers' songs and contra dances. Sutta Isabella. And then uh, we end this with actually a very wonderful march that Paul got from a dance manuscript. Uh, you tell him about it. <laughs> I'm going to let him do yeah. the pronunciation. <laughs> <sighs> we had a gig at the Belgian embassy because the person who was the national Belgian news reporter in Washington got yeah. knighted she for got our knighted, good service yeah. to the Belgian nation and we had to play something f we had to play something for it so I I found this thing called the March of the Archduchess that seemed to be very appropriate and I called everybody in Belgium to say watch the news we're gonna be on the news they at the embassy be because the Greta the Kaiser her name is the Emperor coincidentally uh, yeah. was uh, yeah. getting the uh, get, was being knighted uh, and DC. they just shortened it down and they, they cut, cut us cut out. Us out. <laughs> I heard, we heard like three seconds, but you didn't see us. So, All right, so All right. Madeleine, Isabel, and the Archduchess. Yeah. All right. Sorry. If this is okay, Jeff, why don't we take a five minute break and everybody go outside and get some what? cool air and I'll retune and uh, people who are online, go get yourself a drink. And we have, <laughs> we have a couple more pieces on our set, but we've really drifted. So um, if that's okay. Good. Yeah. We'll ring a bell or something to let you know to come in. We only have a few more things, but we hope you don't leave yet. I'm like a quarter of a step flat on some notes.
stage went to LED lights. That was so wonderful. The string slips a lot. My G slips a lot. Better than it was. Thank you. Thank you. So we just got a couple more. Madeleine. Oh. Isabel yes. and the Archduchess. Okay. Great Danes, we call them. <laughs>
Okay, Liz Quiz. What was that tune that was quoted in the end? What was that tune that was quoted in the end? Something very English. I think it's the British Grenadiers, but I'm not sure. Does anybody recognize it? A lot of these uh, tunes from the 1700s quote tunes that are being played in another country. We have two English dance musicians here, and I thought one of them would be able to tell us. But they disappoint me. <laughs> Thanks for coming, guys. Uh, Maybe it was the bear that came over the mountains. Yeah, da 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 da. Uh, we, um, oh yeah, uh, in honor of tricks, we had to do a, a song in Dutch. In my case, that would be Flemish. Uh, uh, this is a song written by a Dutchman in the early, no, in the, no, 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 he died at the end of World War II. Must have been in the 20s. Uh, ever heard of Ko Spainhof tricks? Nay, um, he was a character. He had long hair and played three chord songs on guitars on in the twenties. And actually, he played a harp guitar. And uh, he wrote this song, um, "Ik hou van alle vrouwen." It's sort of the plight of every man. Uh, if you're a guitar player, you keep on wanting more guitars. Uh, if you like women, uh, uh, you have a problem. <laughs> Uh, and this is a good song about a guy who has that kind of problem. Ik hou van alle vrouwen, mijn hart is veel te groot. Mijn hart is veel te groot. Daar ben ik mee geboren, daar ga ik ook mee door. Daar ga ik ook mee door. I love to Many women. My heart is oversized. My heart is supersized. I was born with this condition. It will be my demise. It will be my demise. Ik hou van alle vrouwen, dat is een groot verdriet, dat is een groot verdriet. Bij één kan ik maar trouwen en daarom trouw ik niet, en daarom trouw ik niet. I love too many women, that is my great chagrin, it is a deep chagrin. Only one I'm allowed to marry, so married I've never been, so married I've never been.
going to do one last set here, and I want to give a huge shout out to um, Blue House Live, Jeff Gruber, and and Daniel, who's helping them tonight. Um, I got this uh, Facebook message back in the summer saying, "Why don't you come perform in my space?" And I was like, uh, "Okay." <laughs> But anyway, it's, you know, it's fan it's he's done over 200 and around 250 concerts in the last during quarantine. Um, the quality is wonderful, just fabulous. You can look on their website and their Facebook page for him. And, you know, in the beginning, everybody's masked. And of course, you folks are still masked in our audience. But um, what a gift to the music community to have this. And what a gift to us that you folks came out tonight. Um, Thank you all. For, for the online crowd there, hello, online, um, you can make donations. They go to the studio and the musicians. Hey, what better place for donations to go? There's links on the YouTube and on Facebook. Thanks to the people who bought tickets. And, yeah, thank you especially, yeah, to all of you here cheering us on. Um, this last tune is very special. It was composed by Dave Weisler, piano player we play with. And um, I'm going to... I'm going to dedicate it to um, all the people who are no longer with us from the last couple of years. It's called Starry Starry. Thank you, everybody.
Thank you all for coming twice. <laughs> yes, and thank you for coming.